I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House NYC. We have a fantastic show this week featuring a wide range of design visions and of course luxury living. From this nomad showstopper with terraces galore to this vibrant and eye-catching loft a block from the beach in Santa Monica. We've also got epic views uptown from this penthouse and we get our dance on in this downtown gym. But before all that, we have an inside look at Manitoga, one of modernism's most iconic locations right on these stunning cliffs of Garrison, New York. Russell Wright was a leading industrial designer. He's often credited with introducing modernism to America. Welcome to Open House NYC. Today I'm coming to you from this unique former carriage house on the Upper East Side that's been gracefully transformed into a stylish modern townhome. At 26 feet wide, this is a true rarity in New York. Check out this enormous yet inviting open living room with a skylit sculptural staircase that floods the center of the house with light. Its scale makes it a fantastic place to entertain. And for more quiet moments, head into this elegant library where you can cozy up to the wood-burning fireplace. On the other end of the home is the formal banquet-sized dining room. The massive eating kitchen at the rear features glass doors that open onto a terrace where you can enjoy your morning coffee on those sunny summer days. Upstairs, there are four serene bedrooms, including the expansive master suite, and the top floor features a solarium and paved roof deck guaranteed to be the social hub for friends and family alike. Care to flex your real estate knowledge? Can you guess what they're asking for this 7,500 square foot townhome? We'll reveal the price at the end of the show, but in the meantime, reach out on our social platforms at Open House TV with your estimates. We are kicking today's show off with a bucolic stroll in Garrison, New York at the former home of mid-century industrial designer Russell Wright. Wright is credited with introducing modernism to the American public, all of which you can see at the property he called Manitoga. Check it out. Welcome to Manitoga, the Russell Wright Design Center. I'm Allison Cross, the Executive Director, and I can't wait to show you around. In 1942, Russell and Mary Wright purchased 75 acres of what was an abandoned logging and quarry site. Over the next 34 years, he transformed it into a place of astounding beauty, including miles of hiking trails, his home, and studio. Russell Wright was a leading industrial designer in mid-century. He is often credited with introducing modernism to America. He built his home and studio, Dragon Rock, from 1957 to 1961. The principles of modernism were softened by nature. The entry into the studio, the knob itself, is a stone. Three of the walls are windows, and as we look out, it's a worm's eye view, so we're cradled by nature and the landscape beyond. So the principal room is divided into three areas. The work area, two sofas, which was a gathering area for socialization, and then his sleeping area, which is divided simply by an open shelving unit. And you can see a couple pieces of furniture designed by Russell Wright in the studio. We have the round Lazy Susan in the gathering area, and then the bedside table, and it is of blonde wood, which of course was a modernist approach to wood furniture. Here we're under the pergola that connects the studio to the main house. Beyond the quarry pool, you can see Dragon Rock. When Russell Wright's daughter Annie was a little girl, she thought that the rock looked like a dragon drinking water from the quarry. So in the main house, Wright continues the principles of modernism. So one of the first things you notice upon entering the space is this wall of windows. In fact, he incorporated the sliding glass doors full wall height to connect inside to outside. In the living area, he continues the interplay of the newest materials with natural materials. So the sofa was built specifically uh, for the space, looking at the fireplace and also to the exterior. 
The stone floor patterning continues to outside. There's modern poured resin floor, so that juxtaposition of the newest materials with nature. The staircase made, again, of granite leads down below to the kitchen dining area. The table is set with his dinnerware, American Modern, which made him very famous in the late 30s, early 40s. The main vertical support of both spaces is a cedar log that Wright took from the property, so it introduces that element of nature. And then the family room above, very intimate space with a view to the waterfall, sofas for a study. It also served as a guest area, so that idea of multiple use of space. I hope you enjoyed the tour and a glimpse of Russell Wright's modernist home and that you'll visit us at Manitoga in Garrison, New York. We'd like to thank the staff of Manitoga and the Russell Wright Design Center for the tour. It is definitely worth a visit, so check out their website for more info. Coming up, we are heading uptown to an elegant apartment that has it all. You're welcomed with views spanning Central Park to the Fifth Avenue skyline. I mean, this is just breathtaking. Stick around. Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we're on the Upper West Side at a penthouse that has it all. Five bedrooms, comfortable living areas, terraces and views. And in terms of New York real estate, what more can anyone want, right? See for yourself. I'm Jennifer Kalish with Douglas Elliman and welcome to Penthouse 1A. Indicative of its name, this residence is first and foremost in luxury living in the heart of the historic Upper West Side. And with five beds and over 4,100 square feet with a fabulous terrace, there's a lot to see. So let's get started. What amazes me the most is after you walk through the entry gallery, you're welcomed with views spanning Central Park to the Fifth Avenue skyline. I mean, this is just breathtaking. I could stand here all day. And once you're done taking in the view, you can take a step back and appreciate the grand proportions of this great room. And the open flow between the living and dining spaces makes this perfect for entertaining. But on an evening in, you can sit here and enjoy your very own fireplace. And with triple exposure, there's not a bad seat in the house, including this dining area, which is perfect for large formal gatherings. But for more casual dining, follow me. This well-appointed Eden kitchen features a Juliet balcony, which is one of four in the residence. And this chef's kitchen has all the top appliances. Plenty of counter space to prepare the best meals and custom cabinetry with an abundance of storage. And of course, an incredible view. And how inviting is this master bedroom? Yes, waking up to river views is amazing, but this suite is also accentuated by these unique curved windows that also leads out to a Juliet balcony. And there's an entire separate wing that really offers a sense of privacy. And I can't wait to show you what's next. And I mean, look at this. There is no need for a summer home when you have this private rooftop. With over 2,200 square feet and multiple seating areas, you really can throw the most fabulous parties. Thank you so much for coming with me on this tour today. I really hope I've shown you why this is the most premier residence on the Upper West Side. From sunrise to sunset, you really are above it all. Coming up in just a few, we head out west to Santa Monica where we explore this chic, vibrant loft space with its designer. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we're in sunny Santa Monica, California with LA-based designer Jessica Iram Liu. Jessica embraced an industrial look using reclaimed and repurposed materials and items, but brought in a fun, youthful vibe with eye-catching color and pattern throughout. Hi, I'm Jessica from Jessica Iromalu Interior Design here in Santa Monica, California at my Marine Street Loft Project. 
It's a fun open floor plan that was inspired by the eclectic community of Santa Monica and Venice. It's such a fun project, let's get started. As you walk through the front door, you're greeted by a bright orange color blocked space. It's fun and unexpected and creates a standalone space for the entry itself. Moving forward, you'll find a fun, graphic, and colorful mud room where you can sit down, take your shoes off, hang your hat, or drop the wet beach towels. Covering the windows are perforated metal privacy screens with overlaid patterns accentuated by light shining through. And since the whole floor plan is open, I tried to confine the spaces with installations. Here you'll find a glass bookshelf. It's made from repurposed plumbing pipe finished in red industrial paint. Just beyond the mudroom, we land in the dining area. This space revolves around a massive French oak reclaimed table. It features a custom banquette that I had built for the space, opposite vintage chairs that we found while shopping locally. The upholstery on the dining room chairs are original, which I typically don't keep, but in this case, it worked, so why change it? The chandeliers above were custom designed, made from antique repurposed megaphones. This adds yet another unexpected quirk element to the home, which is something my clients wanted. Another piece I have to mention, just off to the side, is a bar featuring a reclaimed wood post. I made it my own by adding a streak of neon light running parallel up to the ceiling. This room is unique and whimsical, much like the neighborhood, and when it's time to relax, everyone spills into the family room. Here you'll find two different seating areas. The first is perfect for a meeting or a formal conversation. The second is an informal space where you can kick your feet up and watch TV. One of the coolest features is the wallpaper I designed. It's panels of linen, hand silk screened, with a logo design using my client's initials. Off to the side is a spare bedroom that was built for my client's grandchildren. It's small and sweet, hence the cherry wallpaper. And speaking of bedrooms, we have to take a look at the master. When I started this project, my client requested we keep the colors of the walls and molding intact, which gives a soft and romantic feel. So we added a tall fabric headboard, and as a nod to the rest of the home, we installed tall, playful suspension lamps, which accentuates the ceiling height. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour. I'm very fond of this project because it's vibrant, much like the Southern California lifestyle. See you next time. Are you still curious about the price of this 7,500 square foot carriage house on the Upper East Side? Well, we will let you know at the end of the show, but all guesses on social media are welcome. Coming up in just a few, we are in the Nomad neighborhood for a look at this triplex penthouse. This rooftop lounge has a full bar, but the best part is the view from the entertaining terrace. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we're at an eye-catching triplex penthouse in Nomad. It's 5,500 total square feet and features outdoor spaces on all three floors. With an oversized chef's kitchen, ample dining space, five bedrooms, and wide open views, you are never going to want to leave. See for yourself. Hi, I'm Mara Flashbloom from Sotheby's International Realty, and we are here in Nomad, the hippest neighborhood in Manhattan, and you are about to see a showstopper penthouse. With 5,500 square feet of indoor-outdoor living, there are five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, five terraces, and much, much more. Color is back, and this tri-level home has gallery-sized walls and curated art. And speaking of color, welcome to the Blue Room. I just love this room, and you can never have too many pillows. With multiple exposures, this penthouse is filled with natural light. With a south-facing terrace, you can sunbathe, plant your favorite flowers, or grow herbs for a farm-to-table experience in the kitchen. What better place to prepare that healthy feast than in this chef's paradise? Custom cabinetry, two wine refrigerators, and top-of-the-line appliances. 
I'd love to see you cook here, Sarah Gore. And this sweeping glass staircase leads you to the lower level. You can make a grand entrance into the music room or den. With three exposures, high ceilings, and plenty of light, what a wonderful place to relax. And on this level, there are four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, closets galore, and yes, a pet terrace. And now I have a surprise for you. Follow me. This serene master suite includes two terraces, a walk-in dressing room, and a sumptuous bath. Victoria and Albert bath, steam shower, and a lounging terrace. Enough communing with the trees. Let me show you the entertaining terrace. This is the best in indoor-outdoor living. This rooftop lounge has a full bar and you can watch a movie. But the best part is the view from the entertaining terrace. Just take a look at this view. The Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building, the New York Life Building, and the MetLife Building. Invite all your friends because there's plenty of outdoor space to enjoy. Can you imagine living in this one-of-a-kind penthouse? It can be yours. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour. Coming up after the break, put on your dancing shoes because you're going to need them. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we're with architect Bob Henry, who highlights one of his favorite projects in the Fidei neighborhood of Lower Manhattan. Bob wanted every element in the home to reflect the owner's dynamic and social personalities and interests, which includes, as it turns out, the tango. Take a look. Hi, I'm Bob Henry, founder of Robert D. Henry Architects, and welcome to one of my favorite projects. This is a 2,400 square foot loft. I designed this for Luda and Victor Conti. We work closely with Luda, and he's a competitive ballroom dancer, and wanted to create an energized dance studio and a relaxed, healthy home. When you first enter the loft, you come upon the kitchen. We wanted to give it an open feel. This island countertop was made of a solid slab of Carrara marble. It's 12 feet long and extends into the dining space. And you'll also notice that the same marble was used on the backsplash. One of my favorite pieces is this 20 foot long custom chandelier. 1,248 hand-strung crystals create a cosmic constellation. It's an ethereal experience of floating, dancing orbs. Instant glamour and architectural jewelry. The living room has windows on three exposures and has these incredible views of Manhattan and the waterway. And I want to bring that drama into the room itself because this room is not only a living room but doubles as a ballroom. The ballroom requires specific floors. It's a dark walnut sprung floor with underlayment of rubberized material. It provides an acoustic insulation which makes it more comfortable for dancing and makes you a thoughtful neighbor. Anchoring the living room is a vintage white DH Baldwin Grand Piano. And I know Luda has had some incredible dance parties here. And where the living room was about entertaining, the bedroom area is about relaxation and wellness. Here we change the palette to that chocolate mocha, an earth tone that provides that calming effect. A large glass sliding panel separates the bathroom area from the bedroom. We paid a lot of attention to that master bath. It was super important to integrate spa-like features in the bathroom. 
a deep steeping tub for luxurious baths where you can soak up to your neck and relax tired dance muscles. We included two Alessi sculptural sinks that have backlit mirrors providing soft lighting. Every space in the loft has to have some architectural jewelry. So in the bathroom, we did this chain link chandelier. Ultimately, we wanted to create this sensuous wellness experience for my client. When I design a space, I want every day to feel like a celebration. And next time, please remember your dancing shoes. We promised we'd reveal the price of this Upper East Side former carriage house, artfully redesigned as a modern townhome. Any final guesses? Well, here it is. Were you close? Let us know on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at Open House TV. And maybe you even know about a one of a kind home we should tour. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?